Hello and welcome along to Tim's desk. Tonight we will be reviewing in the box the Sora Art Dora Railgun. Uh, this is in one 144th scale. I'm not crazy enough to get the 135 one uh, or my bank balance isn't either. So first off box, this is a second hand one so it has a little bit of a crumpled corner. Nice picture of the railgun itself built from the model. Uh, side is your usual warnings on there. Don't use this while driving a car. Uh, on this end is rather nice that they give you one of the original pictures uh, of the Germans actually looking at the railgun after it's been finished, being put together, ready for use. On this side, you have several, uh, eight shots of the built model. You have the rail wagons. You have the uh, that looks like the barrel assembly. Uh, traverse assembly, ladders, shell cases, uh, elevators, as it is nearly four stories high. You need, did need a lift to get the shells up to the top. Uh, on the other end, same again, picture of the original. So, first thing, open, let's open the box. What's inside? Nice instructions. Color front page, small description in English of the railgun, how it was used, where it was used, when it was built. Uh, all the pictures and instructions are of a photo kind. So we are quite used to maybe with the uh, newer stuff being like a CAD drawing instruction. This is more the older dragon style instructions where they did uh, photos of the models as they're being built uh, where those instructions were a bit vague in, in where they went these aren't too don't look too bad everything uh, goes along and uh, points to the places where you think it should be uh, so you start at the front showing you the parts you get in the box first assembly is the uh, feet right whale rag, uh, wagons uh, second is the main sides take the gun join the two sections in between uh, finish building the platforms place it on the platforms then build the main gun fit that in glue it together that looks like the lifts and the power plant at the back so there's the lifts. So it makes up to quite a nice looking kit. So the plastic comes in a bubble wrap bag. You get everything in near separate bags, which is nice. You don't get a big one at single airfix type style bag. In here we get all of the wheels and the side parts for holding the wheels onto the lower wagons. You get one, two, three, four duplicate sprues. You've got a couple of loose, three little loose boxes which have come off on there. So we've got the wheels. You can see my finger there so you can see that they're they are a nice small size. You then have, which is actually quite nice. See if I can try and get that in shot there. Yeah, it does actually have some bolt head detail. It's not the old soft uh, style I've seen on uh, the Hasegawa 172, the very older one. Okay, next sprue is railings. Now these are all over the sides and the tops, so these are a fairly visible, visible part on the Dora. So having big, fat, chunky handrails is definitely a no-no on this type of model. And I must say, they are actually fairly good. There's 
there is a very small amount of flash, unfortunately, on every single part, but a quick slide along with the knife on them, you should So we've got these are ladders are going up the sides. We have what look like handrails, um, more handrail sections on there. So more handrail sections on there. Next, these are the four uh, traverse points which go on the lower wagons to the main body to allow it to uh, move around when it's been repositioned for distant for different firing angles it's got on there a texture to to show tread plate for the scale not too bad you can, once that's painted a little wash in there that will be actually quite nice as you can see it's just got enough texture in there gives the idea of a tread plate get washed that will be nice okay now this these ones here these are the main sides um, body sections to the gun they are uh, de they're a decent size I'll get you a ruler so you can get an idea of measurements on them 24 centimeters long now that will hold the gun itself uh, on that you'll then have the traverse and then the wheel section so it's starting to give you an idea of scale now that this is not in any way going to be a small model for 144 uh, so on the on the sprue there you get a nice little name Sora Art Workshop World War II Railway Gun 80 centimeter Dora 1144 uh, again you get another part with oh, yeah, there we go. Small bit of another part with some tread plate on there. Not bad at all. On the main sides now, this get, has got fairly good detail for it. It really has. It's not soft. It's all there. So this will be the top section here. So this has got the tread plate on it again. It's moulded in uh, wires and little hatches on the end there. Very nice. Uh, there's the shelves. Gives you what looks like two shelves on there. Um, these look like next bit parts next. So you get two shelves. Uh, got several parts here which look like they are uh, some type of pneumatic ram, which probably to raise, uh, elevate, and lower the, the barrel itself. So that's quite nice. Okay, next sprue we have some more parts which I think had to do with the true uh, the, uh, the elevation of the the barrel there more parts with tread plates on them still same same style again fairly nice uh, two parts there not sure exactly where they're for so, uh, some detail on there some uh, looking okay a little soft on these edges here not the best there it's not the best brew that one but Okay, next sprues. These are identical, these two. Uh, on here we have more tread area, but this time we have what looks like two rails. So this will most likely be the top section, which has the uh, railways next to the elevators to move the shells from the elevator into the loading area. Uh, we also have a hook um some more right handrails which are very nicely quite crisp molding right let me get this and we'll zoom in okay so we have which looks quite nice here uh a little hook of some kind not too badly mold there there's the uh tread plates with rails on them small section there some more handrails that's quite nicely 
connecting moulding on there. Same again this end quite nicely moulded. Yeah. Ah, there's the little uh, little box section with some very fine uh, little like rivet detail down the down the edges on there. It might be a little hard to get the glare on there, but we can't see that. So next next sprue we have the four lower carriages uh, these, these are like the top sermon you'll stick the bottoms on so the wheels go in the middle and then here we have the breech uh, some breech that is quite a size uh, this looks like some uh, par which has, looks like it has possibly has wheels on there possibly doesn't not too sure on there but might be part of the loading and I believe this section here will be some part of the barrel so that's fairly big it's fairly big uh, we also have here what looked like the carts for t moving the uh, shells along they have the wheels molded on they're okay they're nothing special they're okay uh, they'll do for the, they'll do the job but uh, possibly uh, if you wanted to be really fiddly, you could remake them, but not the worst. Bit in there, nice little bit of detail, more tread plate. Uh, let me We've see got there. these at the carriage roofs. We have the breech there. That's a breech in there. Then we have a part of the barrel section on there these are the small carriages half they look like a half a carriage now these are these are with the sides or interior internal sides to the main carriage where it holds the gun uh, similar sort of molding to the outside only in the centers there so it's, it hasn't got a huge amount of molding on there um more tread plate areas again this one's a bit bent it's fairly flexible it is fairly flexible so it should have no problem bending back to the size we want uh, another treadway area more treadway areas uh, what looks like to be the, the the another part of the breach that's the part that will slide in and out to close the close the beach that's quite a size on there traverse up and down so we have two sections there which will fixed down and then we have what is the barrel part of the uh, rear end of the barrel so this will go in there and okay so okay so here is here's a little note one side of this has a hexagon hexagonal shape instead of just being around so this part here is hexagonal in shape. This side here is round. Now this will be the point where the gun tilts. So from that, we look at these pieces. One has a hexagonal side, one has a round side. So it seems that you'll have to fix the barrel in the elevation that you require whether you have it as a, a slight angle which it gives you there or the next one up it gives you a much higher angle so you, you haven't got unfortunately a huge amount of choice out of the box now of course the, fa the fairly simple thing to do is you just sand this so that becomes round you then get a proper traverse up and down um, I do suspect that the reason they've done that is because the barrel has, has a tendency to just look a bit droopy if you leave it leave it to itself so you may still need to glue this and decide on your uh, elevation as you want to model it which isn't too much of a work bad thing really. We like to have a bit of choice in life. 
uh, more parts uh, look like uh, pneumatic cylinders it's more bolt design yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, I'm like... there we go yes yeah, so two more little pneumatic sections so the last bag in this box is the part that really starts to show you its scale in here you get two railway sections and the barrel so let's start with the barrel this part of the barrel is just over 17 17.6 17 centimeters long now with this joined to this section here which one theory will have a section which will be here and it looks like there's that part that other part to go in between so here's, here's the other part that goes in between so we have that locks into there we have then this then locks into there now that is some size barrel all together 29 and a half centimeters long on a 144 scale kit that is a huge barrel no wonder they only built one of these so that gives you an idea for size if you think that's going to sit on there it's going to have the whole rail wagon it's going to have this bed along there now to give you a display area they give you two sections of railway which is my which is my kind of them these have clipping ends which is a bit like the old scale electrics there we go there we go now there's your railway section now this where's my centimeters section it's bigger than that ruler Because my bigger well, look at that see there goes 45 centimeters <sighs> 54 centimeters long to the two, two, two parts joined together so you do need a nice area when you think of building it to display it on uh, now one thing I did notice when I was flicking through the kit before is there is no end section to this they show you, they give you more clips so you could join more together in theory um, but it gives you no end pieces so you will need to chop that off and just make a piece to fit in the end there nothing too major but I think it would have been nice if they actually gave you a little little piece of clip on the end here just to finish it off with buffers that, that would have been quite nice Okay, so that's all the parts that are in the in the sprue bags. One part I did want to pick up on was barrel, um, whether it's got mould seams or anything like that. The final section does not. That's actually a one-piece uh, barrel, and it's got a very, very deep. Uh, what I saying? A, a very deep hole. <laughs> Uh, so it's not it's, it's quite nice and there's no mold seam around the edge although there is a bit of a strange uh, mold mark on the end um, nothing too bad you could do a little bit of uh, Mr. Servicer on there a little smooth out and that will be fine um, the other parts they do have a little bit of a mold seam you will need to do something with that on there it's not the most crispest of parts, uh, especially when it comes down to about here. There's a root, it's the mould's really not very, very clean at all. So you are going to need a little bit of a, a trim and a little bit of work done on there to make that look its best. Seeing as the barrel itself is the main focal point, it's one part you're going to have to um, make sure you get right. I do think it's a shame that they haven't actually supplied a metal barrel in there because this is a sort of kit that really does call for it but a metal barrel that long that could have bumped the price up of the kit a fair bit 
this is a nice kit for a 1144. There is areas which will need a little cleanup and a little bit of attention pain, play, uh, paid to them to make sure you get the best out of it. A metal barrel would be nice if you could source it or possibly if you know a machine shop, they could turn you one. That's nothing, that wouldn't be the, the to get that final part wouldn't be the worst, wouldn't be the hardest thing and it would actually make it look just a little neater on the end. Uh, rail track, finish off the ends, that's the worst, that's the worst thing about it. Other than that, this is a nice little kit, well worth getting um, and building and it'll be a lovely little display model, um, much more manageable size than the 172 and nowhere bank breaking bank breaking as a 135 kit so i hope you enjoyed the review um i hope you've had a seen what you need to and enjoy building <laughs>